everyone and welcome to another episode of The Deep Dive. Nothing to do with scuba diving today. Today's show is going to be about the carbon dioxide in full face snorkels. We're going to talk a little bit about their origin, why they've become so popular, what makes them dangerous and explain, explain why some full face snorkels are safe and how to use them properly. Okay, so yes, so full face snorkels have been, have been around for just decades now, but their actual modern interpretation appeared on the snorkeling scene somewhere around 2015. Uh, they were, and still are, a massive hit for seasoned snorkelers who wanted something a little bit different, and for people who are snorkeling for the very first time and they aren't too confident in the water. But why are they so popular? Well, it's pretty simple to be honest. These snorkels keep all of the water away from your face and you can breathe more normally through your mouth and your nose as well. In fact, most people that use a full face snorkel never used a snorkel before. The idea of water around their faces freaked them out, but because the full face snorkel covers your entire face, it eliminated that problem. So the market for these things just boomed. Everything was running smoothly until there was a set of tragic accidents where people were blacking out in the water and drowning because of poorly designed masks entering the market. You see, when other manufacturers saw the popularity of full face snorkels, they just rushed to create their own and they cut some corners. So there wasn't really a standard for full face snorkels, so you could just pretty much make anything you want without testing it and just release it for sale. So full face snorkels work by separating the fresh air coming in and the dirty air going out. The most important thing is that your nose and mouth are actually sealed away from the rest of your face and that dirty air, that sort of exhaled gas, is removed from the mask efficiently. The reason why some snorkelers were passing out was that some of the copycat manufacturers use insufficient seals around the nose and mouth and poorly ventilated snorkels. Because of this, cheap masks would just recirculate dirty air. And the big problem with poorly designed full face snorkels is the buildup of carbon dioxide inside. But this buildup only happened in poorly designed masks, which is the important takeaway from this. The original and well designed masks were fine. Yeah, so we all know that we breathe out a higher concentration of CO2 than we actually breathe in. Too much CO2 in our bloodstream can actually lead to hyperventilation and even death. So the human body is great at getting rid of excess CO2, but it's only ever been used to clearing the airspace of your lungs, your trachea, and your mouth. When you actually add a full face snorkel into the mix, it gets harder to get rid of that. CO2 because of all that extra airspace. This space you have to clear is called your dead airspace because every time you breathe out, you don't clear out all the CO2 in your lungs and windpipe completely. But your body can cope with this normal dead airspace. When you add the volume of a full face mask and the snorkel tube to the dead airspace, it can be too much for your body to clear properly and CO2 levels slowly rise. You don't really notice this because CO2 doesn't smell or taste odd, but your body knows high levels of CO2 and its natural response is to increase breathing rate or hyperventilate because it thinks you need some fresh air to clear out the CO2. This unfortunately makes things worse. So the good masks would have airtight seals around your nose and mouth with one-way seals so that dirty air couldn't fill the entire mask, but cheap masks would leak CO2 into the whole mask because the seals just didn't fit properly. Your lungs were also fighting an uphill battle. Whilst good masks have large unobstructed exhalation chambers, cheap copies would just drill a couple of holes into the mold which just restricted airflow out as you breathe out. It's like breathing out through a straw, it's just too much work for your lungs and CO2 would just collect. But remember, this problem is only found in cheaper masks. So yeah, if you find a full face mask less than say 40 pound from a generic brand that has no ties to snorkeling or scuba diving, just stay away from it. If it's too good to be true, then it probably is. But even if you do buy an expensive mask, breathe normally and fully. You need to clear your dead airspace. Shallow breathing won't help, so give it a good deep breath every now and then. And smaller children shouldn't really be using full face snorkels either. Their lungs aren't as developed as an adult, so it's best they don't use full face snorkels. So brands like SEAC, Aqualung, Ocean Reef, Mares and Cressy, they all have amazing ranges of full face snorkel masks now that have been designed properly and safely so that you won't or at least shouldn't get a CO2 issue as long as you just breathe properly and it fits you well. And as Alana said, if you're looking for a full face snorkel, just 
Don't buy cheap, it's not really worth it. I mean, you wouldn't buy a knockoff dive computer or a regulator, so why would you do the same here? So just do your research, take some time, buy from a reputable brand, and you know that you should be safe. Have you bought a cheaper full face snorkel? Do you have any issues with it? We would love to hear your story in the comments below. Also, what are your thoughts about full face snorkels? Do you hate them? Do you love them? Will they stand the test of time? Again, let's have a chat about it in the comments. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next week for another episode of The Deep Dive. And as always, happy diving. Becoming a rescue diver also means you need to be the most prepared diver in your whole team. Remember when you were doing your initial course and your instructor had every bit of equipment needed or a way around something? Yep. You guessed it, now that needs to be you. Yeah, so you should always have kind of what if stuck in the back of your mind. Uh, this will basically make you a 